All right, let's play some more Gaffy. It's freaking out, it's freaking out. And Tell me more about the barrier. There isn't much to tell. It's impenetrable. What happens if Nothing I just walk out of here? The last one who tried that reached the other side a dead man. This damn barrier lets you in, but you'll never get out of here. If there's a way out, I'll find it. You're already in a rush to get out of here, but you've only just arrived. Hmm. Tell me something about the old camp. It's the biggest and most powerful of the three camps. Gomez and his guys control the camp, and once a month, he sends us wine. You can also get... Take care. I am new here. Just arrived, have you? I'm Grim. I haven't been here for long, either. I was thrown in with the load before you. What's life like here? Easy going. As long as you pay your share of protection money to the guard. Hmm. What do I have to do if I want to get admitted to this camp? Well, first of all, you have to become a shadow. Therefore, you have to find somebody who supports you. Somebody who explains everything to you and takes responsibility for you. He'll make you take the test of faith. That's different. If you manage them, you'll be with us. What was your test of faith? I can't tell you, man. You have to be silent about things like that here. You don't look as though you'd just let anyone get into the castle. Only Gomez's men are allowed in the castle. I need to get into the castle. I have a letter here for the High Fire Mage. And you expect me to let you stroll inside the castle to hand it over and collect your reward? Yeah. Okay. Show me the letter. I'm not letting you handle it. Forget it. Okay, I've forgotten. I want to work for Gomez. Oh, yeah? And what makes you think Gomez will be interested in having you work for him? Diego says you decide who Gomez is interested in. Huh? If Diego thinks you're okay, why doesn't he take care of you? Look, let me explain. Diego's gonna test you. 
If he thinks you're good enough, I'll let you into the castle to see Gomez. Whatever happens after that is up to you, okay? I'll talk to Diego. Why don't you give me the test? It ain't that easy, kid. Any newcomer who wants to get anywhere needs a patron. That patron has to be one of Gomez's people. He'll test you. And if you fail, you're his responsibility. That's the law around here. There must be something you want done. No. The things we guards deal with are a bit above you, kid. You just stick to the tasks your patron sets for you. I'm quite capable of doing anything you tell me to. Oh, so you're intent on failing, eh? There is one thing that only someone who's not with Gomez can see to. But I'm warning you, you blow this and you'll be in mighty big trouble. I'm ready for your task. What I'm about to tell you is between you and me, and nobody else must ever Shh. hear about it. Understood? Keep a secret. Sure. We have a problem with a guy from the new camp. His name's Mordrag. He's been stealing from the ore barons. Of course, that applies to a lot of the rogues in the new camp. But this guy has the nerve to come to our camp and sell our stolen goods to our boys. He's gone too far. But he knows I can't do anything about it. Why? Because he's under the protection of the mages. Sounds to me like the mages are your problem. Yeah, but they're a problem that's hard to solve. A few years back, one of the shadows tried to stab the high magician of the Circle of Fire while he was sleeping. They found him later in the Outer Ring. In fact, he was scattered all over the Outer Ring. Why do the mages protect that Mordrag? Because they use him as a gopher. Our local mages are in contact with the mages over in the new camp. They often send gophers back and forth. They're likely to become very unpleasant if I throw one of their gophers out of the camp or have him killed. What about me? What do you think the mages will do to me? You're new here. You'll be okay. But I'm responsible for what my boys do. That's why it's vital that you keep your mouth shut. Where can I find Mordred? You'll find him at the south gate on the other side of the castle, just beyond the entrance. The bastard wouldn't dare come any further into the camp. Do you want me to kill the guy? I want you to make sure I never see his face around here again. I don't care how you do it. I'll take care of it. talk to Thoris. And what did he say? He says that I can join the old camp if you think that I'm good enough. Looks like I have myself a new job. Do we start right now? First, there are a few things you should know. What do I have to know to be accepted in the old camp? If you want to join the camp, you'll have to earn some brownie points. There are a few influential people in the outer ring. Most of them are shadows. If you manage to impress them, it'll earn you a few brownie points. Then you'll have to stand the test of fate. Besides, there are a lot of skills every new arrival has to learn. The more you learn, the more valuable you'll be for us. Where do I find the important people? Well, you're looking at one of them. Then there's Thoris. You already know him. As for the others, you'll have to find that out by yourself. If you don't manage to do that, you don't belong here anyway. Just go through the outer ring and talk to people. Then you'll find out who's important. Who can teach me? Start with Fingers. He's the most skillful among us. If you keep your eyes peeled, you'll find other people who can teach you. Where can I find Fingers? His hut's kind of hidden. 
It's next to the castle wall. Just start out here and go towards the arena. When you're at the castle gate, go down to the left. Flynn wants to play. Arena. What's the test of faith? You have to go to the old mine. There you'll meet a guy called Ian. He'll give you a list. This list is important. It contains all the items the guys in the mine need from us. They'll get the stuff with the next convoy. No problem. Yes, there is a problem. The new camp must not get that list. Like I said, the list is important. If you do it right, you'll get much further. If the list is so important, why should Ian give it to me? Because you're going to tell him Diego sent you. <laughs> I'll tell him. Diego. Can you teach me something? Yes, I can teach you to him. Ah, I've experienced training. Come back soon. There are many things you need to learn. Where can I find the old man? Go to Graham. He's a cartographer. Tell him that I sent you and that you need a map. It'll show you the way to the mine. He lives to the left of the north gate. Take care. And how far have you got with your tests? I've already talked to Dexter and Sly and Fingers. <laughs> they are some of the most influential shadows here in the camp. And how far have you got with your tests? I've already talked to him. That's a hint right there. Get lost. You're not in a good mood. Tell me, where are we? How's things? Not bad. If you can cook well, you have many friends. Would you like some of them? Thanks. You could do me a favor. What can I do for you? You must be used to good food. I have a new recipe. Meat bug ragu a la snaff with rice and mushrooms. You can have as much as you want, but I still need three meat bugs and some hell mushrooms. Five should be enough. Sounds good. The last one I sent just hasn't... Where can I find a meat bugs? Everywhere where there's garbage. Don't get confused. Where can I find hell mushrooms? the south gate. That's the collapsed town. Who was the guy His who said was neck. He was pretty discontented here. I sent him to collect mushrooms. Don't pay attention. Put the weapon down. That's one way to get rid of him. Fingers. I want to become a shadow. So? Can you help me? I wouldn't know how. I'm looking for somebody to teach me something. Why have you come to me? Diego sent me. You should have said that before. 
If you want to join the camp, it's an advantage to be a good fighter or a thief. If the influential shadows in this camp test you, they'll give you tasks you better not get caught doing. Incidentally, I'm the best thief. You wouldn't speak up for me in front of Diego, would you? Depends. If you demonstrate that you've learned... How am I supposed to do that? Learn a... What can you teach me? And that depends on... Hmm, a little bit locked. I want to learn to sneak around. I want to learn how to sneak around. I believe, no false modesty, that I'm one of the best thieves they ever chucked into this colony. But when it comes to teaching how to sneak around, Cavalorn is the better. Where can I find Cavalorn? He's hunting out in the wild. You'll find him at the path to the new camp. Westwards of the old camp, there's a wide canyon. In this canyon, there's an old wood. All right, so he's out in the cabin somewhere. Hey you! If you want to get rid of your protection money, you picked the wrong day. Yeah? Why is that? Cause I'm not here! Then how come I'm talking to you? Nick's vanished. This district is usually his and until he re Antonio Banderas. <laughs> What's your job here? I'm in charge of the arena. I organize the bets, hire new fighters. You know. I want to join the camp. Can you help me? I might be able to, if you manage to impress me. Some of the best fighters from all three camps come here to compete against each other. Challenge one of them to a fight. I'll watch you, and if you're good, maybe I'll think about it. 
I thought the old camp and the new camp didn't get on. So why do you let their people fight here? It's simple. There's fights here once a week, and the diggers always like to see one of the rogues. If one of them fights, there's more bets, and that's good for bit. Personally, I can't stand the swines from the new camp. But business is business. Do you train fighters at all? Yeah, but not just for one hand is sword, level one, 50 or 50 or 10 skill points. Huh. Huh. just do. job for me what is it one of our guards has disappeared he's called neck he might have gone over to the new camp you're new here and you'll get around quite a lot so keep your eyes peeled if you find him i'll speak up for you in the camp what good will your speaking up for me do if you want to join the camp you need people to speak up for you. If I speak up for you with Diego, that'd be a great help for you. I'll see if I can find him. If you meet Fletcher, ask him about Neck. He's taken over his district since Neck disappeared. Where will I find him? His district is the district of the arena. The district of Columbia. <laughs> Graham. Hi, I'm new here. I'm Graham. I draw maps. I haven't seen you here before. What do you want? Diego sent me. He asked you to give me a map with a route to the old mine. No problem. For you, only 20 ore. Hold on. Diego said you should give me the map, not that you should sell it to me. But I'm not interested. Have you any idea how difficult it is to make a map like this? 20 is my special price for friends of Diego. Usually I take 50. Give me the map or I'll take it. Hey, be cool, man. I don't want trouble. Here, take the map and leave me alone. Thug life. Mm.
Go kill a creature. What are you doing? Well, since I stopped working in the mine, I can't really complain. And where do you get your ore from? I help people who have problems. If you get into trouble with influenza, if I was in trouble, you could help me. How? Well, let's assume you're in trouble. Thoris can be quite stubborn. When he's pissed off with you once, he'll never talk to you again. Yeah, that's a bad thing. As a greenhorn, you depend on him, so you come to see me. They put in a good word for you, and Thoris is your friend again. Uh. And I take care that your ore gets to the right people. Could you tell me which of the shadows belongs to the influential people here? You ought to impress the right people, do you? Diego has the most power of all the shadows. He trusts Fingers, Whistler, and Sly. Dexter and Fisk sell their stuff on the market square. They have met, and then there's Scatty. He's in charge of the.
big bug of ragu coming up, huh? from me at a cheap price. Do you know where next got to? No, and I'm not likely to find out. If anything, the diggers in this district might know something. But diggers don't talk to guards. Especially not now they know I hate this filthy work. I bet they're laughing behind my back. It's about Nick. Yeah, keep me posted. Why don't you just collect some more protection money? Nick did his rounds before he disappeared. There's not much left to cook. Thank you. 
It looks as if you knew what you were doing. Nobody ain't complained yet, but that would be a bad idea anyway. Every idiot here needs a sword, and that is what they get from me. How long does it take you to make one blade? That depends. I'm as fast as a hurricane with simple swords. Of course, only on condition that the price motivates me. A freak like Whistler usually has to wait longer for his toy than other people. Why? Doesn't he pay enough? No, on the contrary. He gave me 150 off for his last sword. The guy is into ornaments and girly stuff like that, and of course that's not cheap. Hey, you ain't curious at all, are you, pal? Huh. I'll save it. I'll let you just run it off the kick. 